Hi, I'm Louie Nanny. I'm here at the FCA camp out in Alexandria, Minnesota. I'm from Edina, Minnesota, and last year I played in Sioux Falls for the Stampede. And next year I'm heading to RPI. Here's my story. So my faith walk, it, uh, it all started, you know, just a few years ago, but growing up I grew up in a Catholic family. And uh, you know, I would do everything and anything to just get out of church. On Sundays I would, you know, go from shooting pucks to even just finding random ice time. And, uh, you know, just my family was okay with that. They'd rather me play hockey than, you know, go to church. But, um, you know, as time went on, I was in confirmation class. I got my first communion and all that. It, I didn't necessarily know what it all meant to me. But um, I was invited to Christ Presbyterian Church, which was where all my hockey players and hockey player friends went. And uh, I was just... You know, I went for the pizza, the food, the drinks, all this stuff, and I didn't really go for Jesus. I just went as a hangout spot. And um, you know, eventually in eighth grade, we ended up watching. Yeah, we ended up watching Jesus's walk to the cross from the movie The Passion of the Christ, and it just really struck me that uh, you know Jesus. I knew all along he was a perfect man, but I didn't know that you know how much he really gave up for us and how much he really loved us. And um, I guess it just really struck me and. I was the hockey player crying in the back of the room and I decided to, you know, accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. But as time went on, it was about a year later, you know, I ended up playing Edina varsity hockey my freshman year and, um, you know, we won state championship that year and it was good and all. But then finally I got to the high school in 10th grade when we start late and um, I was, you know, honored and privileged privileged to sit at the same hockey table or the same lunch table as all the hockey players and uh, I thought I was just you know the coolest cat on campus or whatever you want to say just because that's you know the place to be but I after about two months I saw a few special needs kids sitting alone so I just got up left everything at the lunch table and um, I went and sat with them and I just heard the hockey guys snickering at me all this stuff and you know it kind of hurt but Deep down, I knew I was doing the right thing, and I ended up doing that for about a month and a half. And then finally, after you know, it really hit home with some of the guys. I saw one guy stand up, and I saw one other guy start crying. And it was just the coolest thing because they all ended up dispersing to their own tables, and they would sit with guys sitting alone, guys who they think needed help or whatever. But that was kind of you know the marking moment of my humility because I really thought I was all that growing up, but seeing the special ed kids and seeing how little um, they need to just be completely happy is just the most humbling experience I've ever had. So I ended up giving up baseball, quitting baseball actually, uh, to coach a physically impaired softball, or indoor softball, indoor soccer, and indoor floor hockey team. And that was just the best decision in my life. And, um, you know, once again, time went on, the draft came around, and I was fortunate enough to get drafted by the Minnesota Wild in 2013, 2012 draft, I'm not quite sure, it was a couple years back, but, um, you know, they told me I had to leave high school early, and that was a scary thought, because I was such a homebody, I was committed to the University of Minnesota at the time, and uh, I just never thought I'd have to leave the state. But they wanted me to go to Penticton in the Vancouver, or Penticton, Penticton in the Vancouver area in the British Columbia Hockey League. And uh, it was the scariest moment of my life. You know, I packed my life into a suitcase, left the country, and ended up staying with a, a random family, which uh, they ended up to be amazing. And, you know, I found a church right away, and I found a youth group on Wednesdays, and I was attending it regularly all the time. I was just blessed by the community out there. But once again, as time went on, I, uh, you know, I started to realize that I wasn't really who I wanted to be. So I ended up skyping my skyping my family, and I was just in tears the entire time because I almost quit hockey. I just wanted to hang up the skates, move to Africa, become a missionary. And my dad, of all people, I thought he would just be the one to just squash that right away. But he was willing and accepting to face the facts that I felt like I was called to do something bigger but I called my coach talked to him a little bit and he just wanted me to do one favor and that was to meet with the team chaplain so I met with him and he completely changed my heart you know he told me to be a missionary in the hockey field which is a broken world unfortunately but 
instead of being a missionary and you know go somewhere else, hang up my skates, which God blessed me with the talent to you know glorify Him through hockey. So I ended up doing that, and I ended up asking kids to go one by one to church with me. By the end of the year, we had 16 kids coming regularly, almost regularly, to church. And on Easter Sunday, almost had everyone. So that was just, you know, the coolest down-to-earth experience that I've ever had. And that was really the final step of my faith, and that was boldness. And um, right there, I just you know, believed that I was truly all in for Jesus. And I just, you know, my prayer is that you are all in for Jesus, and that I just hope I'm able to continue my walk with the Lord and glorify Him and grow in Him day and day. I'm Louie Nanny, and I'm all in for Jesus Christ.